Hi, chat. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. All right. It's going to be a cool night. I think we've driven with this truck before. I'm excited. Hi, Chad. Good to see you here. What's up, Alex C., Peter Peterson, Maximum? What's up, Cody and Jesse and Amy and Jacob and 32 and Hom and Boyerhood and uh, Ford F-150 Gamer? Brandon, how you doing there, guys? Hello, everyone. What's up, Sion? Hi, uh, hi there. Hi, hi. How's it going? All right, we got ourselves a uh, Volvo truck here ready to rock. This is a very simple uh, mod that you can download down below in the description. Uh, check for the Google document down there. It should link to this truck and also the trailers that we're using here today. This is simply just the uh, Volvo mod that uh, I think you need to download a separate skin for the FedEx Ground logo too. Now, uh, fair warning, I also wanted to haul a uh, FedEx Ground uh, trailer, but the mod currently only allows for trailers to be in the freight market, not for you to actually buy and own your own FedEx trailer. So today we're uh, already ready to go with a job that is nearby. Uh, we're going to go pick that up and uh, haul some FedEx stuff. We're hauling freight, we're hauling ground. Should be good times. So uh, I thought of this one just kind of like not even like last minute. I thought of it a while ago, and then I wasn't sure if it would work, and now it's back. So uh, I wish I got a screenshot of the truck in here because that's really the Hmm, that's really the masterpiece for it, but is there UPS? Yeah, there's probably some skins for UPS, too. Uh, this is a very popular mod. This truck is very, very popular on the workshop, and uh, it's a little hard to edit everything uh, in the... Um, in the store right now because of the recent update, but don't you worry. We are going to uh, drive around with this truck and uh, have some good time. So we've already bought it. There wasn't really much to modify because I'm trying to keep it FedEx fleet. FedEx wouldn't allow you to, you know, put all these bells and whistles on things. So there you go. Uh, yeah, there are mo uh, there are uh, mods coming for... Uh, all right, so to answer that question, ownable Dude, trailers are coming to the out. game. You can play with them now if you'd want to uh, by upgrading to the open beta. And then eventually there'll be mods. Like, for example, were you guys here? Was anybody here for the Smokey and the Bandit stream? Do you remember when we did that? That truck and that trailer w both worked together in a uh, mod pack that allowed you to download a, or basically import a skin for the trailer, the reefer, that you could purchase, the refrigerated trailer. So if you were there for that one, yeah, you can basically buy a trailer and then there's skin mods for that too, just like there is for trucks. So it's uh, pretty easy. Wow, lots out. of new subscribers. Welcome aboard, everybody. Thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, I'm doing these streams a little bit late. Like, I'm, I'm testing. I'm testing these streams. So over the next uh, maybe uh, week or two, you're going to see me streaming at all sorts of different crazy times. So just to, as an FYI to you guys, make sure you click or tap that little bell button and change it to all if you're already a subscriber. So that way you know when I go live. So if I go... If, 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 you, if I go wild with some crazy stream in the middle of the afternoon on a Wednesday, you're like, the hell's he doing? I'm just testing things out just to see how many people we can reach out to so I can stream for the most amount of people. So that way nobody has to miss it. But they always do. If you guys ever miss a stream, you can always watch the VOD later. All right, enough talk. Let's get to trucking. This uh, truck is very, very cool, by the way. I do like it except for, oh, I don't like the paint on the, uh, that actually is a very lame model right there on the, on the back end of the truck. Kind of simple and smooth looking, but... I'm sure they will uh, uh, modify this a little bit more. I think the mod maker of this truck hasn't been on for like a like literally has not been on Steam for a year and a half. So people are keeping this truck mod alive by basically making files that fix this truck by like making files that go on top of it. So you have to download like two different you know mods and stuff like that. But anyway, if you want to download it, look into it. It's in the description. Without further ado, let's get trucking. And it sounds really nice too. The sounds are like beautiful. Can you drift? There is a racetrack in the game somewhere in uh, Arizona, I believe. I might be wrong about that. I'm not sure. All right, let's listen to the truck. Oh, well, that's right. I got to switch it back to... Uh, I was driving with my keyboard earlier just to uh, get started. Now I have my steering wheel ready to go. Uh, let's switch to uh, keyboard and Logitech Force. Yeah, there we go. And then switch to a shifter. And I hope that's still set up. I think it saved my presets, hopefully. If not, it'll take a second or two just to... Oh, that sounded nice. All right. Ooh, that's nice. All right, let's make sure things are still set to go. All right, sounds good to me. Oh, yeah. All right, we are ready to go. Very good. So uh, thanks, by the way, to everybody who clicked or tapped that join button this week. We've had a lot of people clicking and tapping that join button to be a part of our convoys in the future. Uh, we'll be doing some multiplayer. I think when we can do private servers, we'll do that. So that way we can have some quality control. So that way we don't have any trolls, we don't have any, you know, people who don't know what they're doing. I would hate for a lot of people who really do like this game to have the experience ruined by somebody who's very excited, but, you know, a little dumb. Like myself. But unfortunately I have to be there because I have to be the one on camera, so. Anyway, let's pull out of here. I always love backing out like this way on this place. Can it do a burnout? Probably. But that would be what we call a uh, criminal act, and I would go to jail again. 
You guys don't want me going back to prison, do you? You checking in on the stream? Well, welcome, Navy Gaming. Good to have you here. All right, we're going to jump the curb here. <laughs> and uh, now we're going to proceed to pick up some cargo uh, from a nearby woo, from a nearby place. This is nice. Uh, and uh, I think we're picking up toys or something like that. So we'll... Uh, there we go. Everything's still working on the truck. All right. I was nervous that it wasn't. So, yeah, usually we build the truck at the beginning of the streams. So just keep that in mind. Like, that's part of the game is literally to buy a truck. And uh, now you can buy a trailer. So now the game has literally become Big O Truck, Big O Trailer Simulator. Like everything else. Brick rigs and <laughs> farming sim and everything. Boy, this truck sounds nice, doesn't it? Rev it up. All right, let's, let, let's rev it up. Hold on, let's... Uh there we go. Oh, and there's a little FedEx uh, truck right now. Perfect. There's one of our little uh, local delivery trucks. All right, so we're going to head out uh, out to... Uh, I forget exactly where we're going. We're going into Arizona. And we're going to pick up some uh, goods over there. So it should be a good time. So what's up, Rudy? Shout out to all of our uh, members tuning in. Peter and uh, Rudy. If you guys want to be like them, you can click or tap that join button. They might use some emotes tonight. So if you see them in use, that's how you get those if you want. Well, that's nice of all of you to tune in tonight as we run our experiments. Actually, every every time you put up a video is an experiment. All right. Now, usually it's a little more fun to build these trucks, but uh, tonight we're just getting driving right away. Take a look at the truck if you haven't seen it. Very nice. Uh, very, very nice Volmo mod. By the way, they're going to have uh, Volvo coming to the main game, too. So if you're a, a Volvo fan, uh, the, the big O trucks are coming. It's, it's going to be nice. All right. Maybe in a few uh, months I'll get track IR, too, if I, if I feel like it. I feel like if I get track IR, then I feel like I'm a full-time, like, ATS streamer. And I would, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. All right, let's see here. Yeah, that's right. This game is only on uh, PC. Yeah, International. That's going to be a cool truck and brand to come here as well. Your calculations are that I'm good at YouTube. I don't know how you'd be good at YouTube, but certainly it's a fun time. What's with the shades? It's a bright day out, don't you see? Wind in my hair, doing 30 on these uh, roads and... Uh, Nevada. It's a pretty day. Yeah, track hour works for a bunch of games. You're right, Rudy. I would probably end up using it only for ATS, though. I would feel weird using it in farming sim. However, there is a new Ace Combat is coming out. I'd like to use it in that game. Alright, this is going to be tons of fun. Wait, let's listen to the horn. Oh, that's nice. That's a real horn. Wow, that's a tr is that a train? That's totally a train horn right there. This game giving me a train horn. What are they thinking? Oh, we can do 80 now? I've spent so long on the uh, strip. I forgot we can actually bring it up to uh, a decent speed. Yeah, if I play music while we're trucking, that'll all be copyright. And it's probably uh, better to stream over on Twitch if you're looking to play music or something like that because they're a little less restrictive. As where if on YouTube you stream uh, and play 30 seconds of a song, they'll, uh, you know, they'll shut you down. All right, well, this is going to be pretty cool. Once we get to our destination, we're going to pick up the cargo over there. Not too far. So I guess we'll bobtail it for a little while and then... Uh, Boy, I already like this truck. This is a good one. I've, I've always been a fan of this Volvo truck, and I could never uh, really do mods for a while because I was going back to vanilla to check it out. But now, mods are where it's at, man. And this game is, like, designed for mods anyway. This is probably why this game is, like, always number, like, it's always top ten or top five on Steam because nobody has more mods than this game does. This game is crazy with mods. Uh, would it be better if it were on console? It could be fun to play in the living room. 
but it is a pretty good game to play on PC. The cool thing is, is if you get multiple monitors, you can, you can set it up to do all that stuff, or you can use Track IR, or oh, there's so many different things you can do. Alex, if you have a question, just feel free to ask. You can also drop a super chat, too, to ask a question. Some people do that. It's pretty nice. People are very supportive. What are those? Well, you'd have to be referring to my shoes, though, to make that meme relevant. Wow, this truck is uh, awfully loud, huh? Very nice. You're going to pass me in a Panzer 3M? That tank has a lot of weight to it, though. It's had a lot of frontal armor added to it. I don't think that tank will be... That's probably not even as fast as a Panzer IV. That is a better engine. Uh, oh, road work ahead. Oh, and are we d heading into nighttime, too? Well, that was a last-minute merge. Woo! What's the time here? 2 p.m. All right, so we'll... All right, we're going to do a nighttime haul. I suppose. So get ready to turn that brightness up, boys. You think there's a storm coming? Yeah. This game would be cool if there was dynamic weather. I hope in future games we see, like, uh, dynamic weather and uh, road conditions. And They've done a pretty good job of simulating roadside uh, events such as traffic stops, construction, accidents. I think there's even some mods that, like, add a plane that's crashed onto the road or something like that. Well, what? Wait, this truck only has... Oh, right, right, right. I forgot the transmission I chose. Whoops. Totally forgot I changed it all. Yeah, we'll do a convoy on Truckers MP sometime, but I'm hesitant because I know, even with the best of drivers, the latency and the attention span from everybody is like if you look away it's all over times that by like 10 people 20 people 30 40 50 in the convoy bad times that's what we call that that's some bad times looks like we're doing a race here looks like there's construction on the left uh, lane Down to 50, 55. Aaron, thanks for seven. Yeah, we're, we pretty much beat that truck for sure if we were in a race with them. So we should be at our destination shortly. It's just one city over, which isn't too bad of a drive. Uh oh Is that the Popo? Oh, no, it's just a regular uh, civilian car. Oh, well, we're barely going to be driving through this place. Stoplight? Yep. Of course. Okay, well, we're almost to FedEx now. Home sweet home. Oop. <laughs> actually, this, actually, let me see something on this truck. Well, first of all, we didn't hit him because there's an invisible hitbox, so technically. But also, the front end of this truck doesn't seem much longer than the other ones. But it feels longer. What the heck? What the heck? Ah, don't worry. You gotta hit him sometimes. Let them know they're alive. AI is, uh the best drivers though. It's not as bad as it is in Bus Driver Simulator 18. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Off to a good start. Yeah, uh, do you have insurance? I don't, I think you can, wait a minute, is that a thing in this game now? Did the update change anything like that? Also, this light sucks. This is a very short light. What's up, Brandon? Yeah, it doesn't matter. 
If anything, I don't really care about the cash in this game. I just want to show off mods. Although I don't only uh, have owned, I think, two garages so far. Actually, I wonder if the hitbox on the front of this truck is a little wider than it actually is long. Because it didn't look like when I touched that truck, there, there seemed to be quite a bit extra space. Alright, thank goodness. We're getting past. What's up, Dark Mystic? Good to see you here. What's up? Uh, is this game impossible to do with the keyboard? No, it's a it's actually very, very playable with the keyboard and gaming mount like a you know a gamepad or a steering wheel. They've done a fantastic job of making this game playable with a keyboard. It doesn't look pretty because your wheel is going all sorts of crazy, but uh, maybe actually for the uh, for this next little part of the journey, let's go ahead and actually let's switch it to keyboard just so you guys can see what it looks like. It it's rear it's really funny. Uh, I played his keyboard for years because I... Wh what's funny is that I think I was in denial about really liking this game. So I didn't want to buy a racing wheel. That's also probably why I'm saying I don't want to buy track IR or anything like that. Uh, because these these types of games are really addicting and lots of fun. And as you can tell, everybody enjoys them. Uh, I thought I couldn't get ads on live streams. Uh, yeah, YouTube will play ads on occasion on certain certain streams. They choose it, not me. It's YouTube. You know how they are. All right, so now we're driving with the steer. So we're, we're driving with the keyboard now. So I'm basically just holding W, and you can see how the steering wheel goes crazy. But you just got to be a little sensitive with it. That's all. Wow, we're already doing like 35. Boy, you really, with the simple transmission, though, you really get going fast. Right. Still using the keyboard here. Oh, man. Probably a better driver. All right, there we go. All right, let's switch back now to... The steering wheel as intended. So if you need to play with the keyboard, that's kind of what it looks like. It's not unplayable. It definitely doesn't look pretty, but it's definitely... It works. And it works better than I think. Uh, sometimes. How much is the steering wheel? Uh, check down below in the description to check out mine. Alright, we are picking up a uh, load of FedEx goods now. Wait, did I not select the job? Oh yeah, that's right. We gotta first select it. Look at that beautiful skyline. That is wonderful. Wait a minute, is the game, uh... Hold on a second. Oh. For a second I thought I didn't switch back to my uh, regular controls. We're good. Okay, let's see. We can haul some toys, some frozen vegetables, and a reefer trailer, or fireworks. Let's go with the... Let's go with toys to the Walmart, though I don't know why they would be FedExing it. Let's go with the insulated tra Insulated double? Should we do a double trailer? Or you guys want to see a regular box trailer? I think we should do. I think we should do double. You guys like that, right? You guys, <laughs> vegetables says chat. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna take this job. We'll go. With, we'll go with the double because you guys. Uh, I know you guys. You guys want to see the double. You guys want to see the double, don't you? Yeah, I figured. Chat blowing up with double. All right, we'll go with the double. We're hauling toys. There's also frozen vegetables, but actually, is it, can we do a double with frozen vegetables? I didn't think so. I thought I, that would have been very strange to see two uh, double reefer trailers, though they have the t the tiny one. That's funny. All right, well, that's weird to haul. I, does FedEx even have a refrigerator? They must. They must. All right, well, we're going to haul a double trailer now from here to uh, Oxnard. The only problem with going that direction is that if we do actually maybe we should go west because there's no or east west there's like no fedex locations around here so if we're going to do another job maybe we should haul fireworks we could haul we could haul a refri refrigerated double fireworks hold on a second fireworks okay so i guess we need to haul double all right let's haul some <laughs> let's stay in arizona let's haul some double refrigerated for fireworks for whatever reason so I guess I guess these uh, these fireworks have to be insulated for some reason with with a reefer trailer. Got to keep them cool. You don't want them exploding. All right. Well, let's pick up this. We're gonna stay in Arizona then. Yeah, let's haul fireworks. But don't worry, guys. If I crash, it's okay. We got the refrigerator trailer, so we're okay. It's all good. I don't know why you guys are panicking. 
It's all fine. Although I wonder if the hitbox on the front of this trailer is wider, though. That makes it a little tougher, especially in these tight places. But the Volvos are coming. I'm excited for that. Oh, these are actually very big trailers. Nice. All right, and we are Gucci Maji. All right, perfect. Not the perfect parking job, but close enough. All right, so this is for FedEx Express. Obviously, I want the trailer that says FedEx Ground, but, you know, you can't win them all. Uh, there is a FedEx trailer mod, though, for FedEx Ground if you want to check it. This is also part of the Real Logos mod for FedEx Freight and FedEx Express. So all that should be linked down below. All right. We're hauling refrigerated explosives. Do they do that? That doesn't make sense that they would do that. But whatever. Oh, they actually do have a dual refrigerated trailer. I can't believe it. Okay, let's get out of here. Dudes. Have I been a delivery driver before? No. Just in these types of games. That's the fun thing about a simulator, is that you can just fake it. You can pretend that you know what you're doing, like me. You know, it's probably a bad idea to actually uh, put these in a refrigerated trailer because if it's cold enough, and ice forms wouldn't, when the water, or ice, like uh, when it warms up, it'll become water and then it could damage the fireworks maybe. That's alright, we're selling dud fireworks. It's all good. Ooh. Kiba, thanks for subbing. Oh, wow. Road's abandoned for once. You gotta be kidding me. And it's like an afternoon, too. We're not talking about like 5 a.m. There we go. David, thanks for seven. Wow, all these new subscribers. Welcome, folks. Wait a minute. Something doesn't seem right. I don't have it in... All right, there we go. It's just the transmission I guess I'm getting used to. It wasn't in high, so it was all good. It's going to be fun. Oh, we're really going now. Wow, that guy was hauling a uh, little uh, quad. That's cool. You can actually see trailers haul it. Cars can haul trailers now. Is that a new thing? That's cool. You're going to be able to see, like, trucks hauling boats, and maybe you'll see someone hauling, like, a motorhome or something. Oh, that'd be a cool thing to have. Do they have motorhomes in this game yet? Like RVs? I don't, I don't know if I've actually seen an RV. Driving better than you? Well, that's not saying much. So long as I stay in the lines and don't hit anything, I have my good days and bad days.
This is an emergency. Uh, this is FedEx Express, so you know we got to get there like right now. Wow, look at the beautiful sky in this. Beautiful. Ooh. What's up, Boondocks? Hi, chat. How are we doing this evening? A big old horn honk for you guys. Wonderful. I'm so happy no matter what we play, lots of people tune in. It's crazy. I can do whatever I want now. Unlimited power. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This isn't that road that is the National Park, is it? No. I think that's in California. Okay. I think we're good. Yeah, we're delivering fireworks right now in a refrigerated trailer. Let's take a look at our uh, actual uh, truck right now so you guys can see it. For those of you just coming along, let's see. So check that out. Looks pretty nice. I, w I just really want the white... Uh, insulated uh, FedEx ground trailer, but it's still cool to haul FedEx stuff with FedEx stuff. It's very nice. It looks really good. Realistic, and uh, the Volvo is really nice, too. Very nice stuff. I don't think we're going to take a picture here. I want I want that other trailer, but it is cool to see the doubles. The, the doubles. The double doubles. The truck is really nice looking, too. Good details on, like, the front end and stuff, though. The only complaint I have is the, uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I didn't really modify too much on the truck. So I think next time we'll do a cab over. Maybe an international or a uh, freightliner. We'll see. You can see my green screen. Well, don't, don't peek at it. Don't look. There you go. It's just the camera zooms sometimes. The, uh, the camera has to adjust to... Uh, positioning and stuff. It's all good. It's just static. It's the uh, the fourth wall breaking. <laughs> Alright. Let's see here. Yeah, it looks like a bunch of flies. Yeah, I, sh I smell. Do you need a capture card to stream with two computers? Um, good question. So a capture card is typically used for recording. Uh, most people just use straight up OBS just to live stream like that. That's what I do on this computer, though. I have a secondary computer that I could turn into a uh, like a streaming machine. So it's a good idea to use. But OBS is great for recording and for streaming. So it's a free piece of software that everyone can use. A lot of good features. It's good stuff. Hello, Eulora. How's it going? Yeah, my green screen's a little shy. Ah, don't worry about it. It's nice to use to get, like, myself kind of out of the way. Though, you, you guys a lot are always like... I don't know. If I, I wonder if I disappear if anyone would notice. I'll try later in the stream. We'll, we'll see who's not paying attention. I'll vanish, and we'll see if anybody notices. All right. So we are heading towards, uh, I, also, I also forgot our destination. We're heading towards a Walmart right now for, with fireworks. Must be close to 4th of July. Uh, we're heading to Phoenix. To the Walmart in Phoenix. Hi, Christina. Hi, everyone in chat. Good to see you all tuning in. Again, if you guys like ATS or whatnot, like me to keep on streaming. If you like this time, if you like uh, the truck and mods, go ahead and click that like button to let me know, like, you know, everything's good. Let me know that you like mods and evening streams and that type of thing. And the more likes I get, the more I'll understand what, what the viewers like and what they don't like. So go ahead and do that if you would be so kind and show your support. It really helps to make better content for all of you to enjoy. Yeah, we're in Arizona right now. We're heading towards uh, Phoenix. We should be there uh, eh, momentarily. If you light the fireworks, you get a massive, massive boost. That would be nice, wouldn't it? If you lit up the back of the truck and you got a turbo boost down the road. That would be funny. Is owning fireworks legal in America? It depends on what state you're in. 
most states allow for some sort of uh, kind of like explosive kind of thing. Something that like shoots sparks mostly. Wow, we're really coming to a quick stop here. Or what is the... Wait, what is this? A roundabout type deal? Oh, it is a roundabout. Wow. Wow. New subscriber shout out. Staples. Right, anonymous, thanks for seven. Jeez, I've never seen a roundabout in the uh, American version of this game. Oh, you guys are ballsy. That's cool. Man, the Volvo truck just sounds too good. Mm. Shout out to me? Well, thanks, Kyle. Whoop. Thank you very much. I drive better than you do. A steering wheel makes a lot of difference. And practice. And doing it in real life. Well, this is a nice road to drive on. This is actually interesting. Yeah, the truck sounds amazing, Sean. It's... It's really nice. It's, it's. I will admit that it's better than the Mac, the Mac R that we were driving with. Do I have a CDL? Uh, if that stands for Corn Dog Lover, then yeah. Or Pronto Pup. RD, thanks for seven. That's not the real one, kids. Don't get excited. That couldn't be. All right, big old lumber here. Now remember, we got this. The hip back, the hip box on this truck seems to be huge, so I don't want to get near anybody. Well, that's about the right amount of space you want, anyway. Near, 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 near. Rip Bandit, yeah. We did a Smokey and the Bandit stream uh, a couple of days ago, and it was really fun. Everybody loved the uh, truck. Everybody was talking about how they loved the movie. It was uh, good times. Really enjoyable. Oh, want to be really careful. Don't don't want to go over that. Don't want to go over the line. What's up, Dead Man? When is Oregon coming out? I'm not sure. I'm very excited, though. I'm very excited for the... Uh, I, I really want to drive up in the mountains to logging camps. Like, that is the thing I really want to do. If I ever disappear from YouTube, it's probably going to because, uh, be because I went to Washington State or Oregon and uh, started becoming like a, uh, like a lumber truck driver. Oh, that'd be awesome. That'd be the coolest thing in the world to do. What mods am I using? So you can check out what mods I have uh, down below in the description. There's a Google Doc down there. And I'm driving with the Volvo truck with the uh, FedEx uh, mods. It's pretty cool. Did I go to the Minnesota State Fair? Yeah, I sure did. It's good times. Minnesota State Fair. I guess this lane ends, so we may as well stay here. Nope. Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful, girl. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This truck actually is, like, missing a useful gear. Holy crap. 
Wait, is it not recognizing that I'm in gear? Oh, there we go. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, we're playing with a wheel. I don't think it recognized that I was in third gear at some point and then we lost all momentum. Well, at least we didn't stall her out. Maybe I didn't put it all the way down in there. Yeah, you can you can design your own trucks and stuff in this game. It's not too hard. Um, there are skin mods and stuff where you could just... There's other, like, talented creators out there. I, I, I've had people before uh, design, like, uh, refrigerated trailers and stuff for me in Euro Truck and design trucks for me. I, actually, I remember I had a... Uh, I think I had a, someone designed a Kenworth for me once, and then uh, the version stopped working, and then I, d I just didn't want to bother them and ask. Although I should test that again. Maybe it's fixed. I'm not sure. But anyway. Ooh, look at that. There's like a storm coming in. Let's turn on the lights. How do they look? Oh, they look good. Well, let's get up to 70 now. Yeah, I play ATS because if I do Euro Truck, the viewership difference for Euro Truck and ATS is huge. If I play Euro Truck, the comments are just play ATS, play ATS, wins ATS, you should play ATS. ATS exists and you should play it. Play ATS. 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 So, that's why I play ATS, I guess. I think Euro Truck's more enjoyable, though, just because I get to go to different countries. in the lanes there. Shrek, you quiet down. What's the difference between the two? One's in Europe and the other's in America. So all the differences of the trucks, uh, the driving, it's all, it's all different. Those fireworks are fine. It's Walmart. going to three to four like that. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Well, oh, it sounds cool, though, when we do that. You're not supposed to do that, but my God, does it sound cool. I don't have to make sure I'm in the right gear when we do that. I think I was, though. I should drive for Swift. No. driving on my own, I actually make them look good. I serve a purpose that way. Okay, so let me just see if I can go up, then one gear plus down. There we go. Huh. Do -do -do. We got it. It's fine. Oh, Spartan, thanks for the two, man, to fill the tank. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're going to have to buy some fuel. That's the nice thing is when you buy a new truck, you don't have to fill it up. Your dad works for uh, FedEx? That's very cool, man. Yeah, I'm from the U.S. Well, we're just going to come on trucking through town, then. Actually. It's so the next street. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, good, the fire truck. We're going to need that. They knew I was hauling fireworks. Oh, nice. This is like the Walmart distribution center, not like the uh, actual store. hate when they make me go to the store. Oh, you let me through? All right, that's your mistake, ma'am. Or sir. Okay. Well, we uh, got here without exploding, so... Chat, what do, what do you say? All right, thank you. Uh, where should I place it? 
left, I guess. Oh, good. Sorry, buddy. I had to... Hey, yeah, I got it. Someone's honking back there. <laughs> it's like, sorry, buddy. I had to stop to, like, claim this job. I wish the game had a different way. You know what would be nice is if when you were getting close, the game would, like, let you call ahead or something somehow and, like, pick before you arrive. Or maybe, like, uh... Maybe when you when you leave for the delivery, you can pick where you're going to deliver it as you're picking up too. Other options like that would be neat. Oh 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 darn it! Just missed, just missed it by a little bit. There we go. Yay! No explosions. Very good. Okay, so our uh, first FedEx delivery is uh, under the belt. We now have uh, we now have our first Volvo delivery done. I think I remember playing this truck a while ago, and I really liked it. So now we're now we're back to play it again. Plus, I think this is one of the original mods that was like one of the first four ATS that everybody dove on. Uh, let's see, uh, current company job offers. All right, let's take a look at those. Oh, this is all Walmart hauls. Okay. Let's see if there's anything for FedEx. Uh, uh, I'm going to need a nap. Okay, let's see. Phoenix. Staples. Ah, another FedEx job to a Walmart. Ooh, all the way in the north at uh, Page. Hmm, that could be fun. Oh, that's home accessories. Well, at least it won't be a reefer trailer again. We can also haul TVs. Oh, that's a little too far. Is this by distance? Oh, this is by weight. All right, well, let's haul up north to Page. Let's go up there. I'm glad we have another FedEx delivery here. Uh, oh, or, or Reno. That's way too far. What is that thing? Oh, pesticides. I thought it said popsicles, and I was like, why is that in a oil tanker? That's a little weird. All right, let's pick this up. We're going from uh, FedEx to Walmart again. Okay. Walmart? Yeah. Apparently, FedEx ships to Walmart, I guess, according to the game's logic, but it's a game. Who cares? How do you get the 1.32 open beta? So, Mason, what you need to do is open up Steam, go to your library, right-click on American Truck Simulator, go down to Properties, and then when it pops up, I think you should be able to type Version or Update or something like that. If you click that... There should be a drop-down window that says, like, opt out of beta. There should be a thing that says opt out of betas. And then uh, just change it to version 1.32. That's how you all can do that. <clears throat> yeah, this game's a little weird. Like, they just made me haul fireworks with, uh, with a refrigerated trailer. Now they want me to haul TVs with, like, a... I wouldn't be surprised if the next thing we do is haul, you know, we have, like, a flatbed with TVs on it or something. Uh, oh gosh, traffic, come on. I'm gonna confuse the drivers in a second and make them think that there's a train coming. Oh, train, train crossing, ma'am. Good, that distracted that driver. Perfect. Need one of those on my actual car. Hi, John Deere Farming. Got ourselves a big old crazy $175,000, not a million dollar, $175,000 uh, haul. Ooh. Okay. Sorry, I just got a, just got a text from a pretty lady. Sorry. Uh, remember when you were playing Farming Sim 17 and you harvested grapes? <laughs> yeah, I kind of do, actually. That was pretty funny. I think, like, a song started playing. Oh, there's no stoplight here. Sorry, I was reminiscing on my past history. Donovan, thanks for subbing. Have I heard of the Dell Optiplex 760? I have no idea what that is. Sounds like a movie theater. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do we have to go down the road and pick this up? I thought we were already here. 
Oh, oh, I thought we were going on the highway. We just got to go, well, technically down the highway, just still in Phoenix. Got it. You saw me the other day? Okay. Cool story, bro. How big is this game? You'll have to explain a little bit more what you mean. Do you mean download size, or do you mean like how many states does it cover, or what do you mean? I already answered your question in all caps locks, R.D. Allen. You didn't hear the answer. I've leveled up. I am now level 31. Oh, wow. By just driving around. Making my way downtown, driving bad. No one cares because the streams are. How big is the game's map? Right now it includes California, Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, and very soon Oregon will be a part of the part of the fun. Oh, officer. Thank you. Well, hello, Colt. Yeah, soon to be Oregon. Right. It's almost there. All right, folks. It is going to get darker in the game, so ensure that you turn up your brightness a little bit. She's going to get pretty dark, but then in about 10 minutes or so, it'll become bright, sunny day again. Am I bobtailing? Well, yeah, I'm going to pick up cargo right now. We're picking up some, uh, oh, I already forgot. What was it? Oh, yeah. Home accessories or something? All right, we'll fake, we'll fake out the police by signal on the left. I want to make sure I'm not being tailed. Oh, wait, 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 the GPS wants me to turn around, oh, and we'll just back around, well, it's gonna be a long backing up, but we got her, Constantine, thanks for subbing, Obviously, you typically wouldn't do this, but whatever. Okay. That guy telling people to click the join button. You haven't clicked the join button there, that guy. You guys can click that join button if you'd like to, and if you do join, then your uh, name will pop up here. Or do we get? What's the difference between these two? Oh, the axles. Let's just go with the dry van over here. And speaking of which, look at that. With uh, the blessing of that guy, welcome Crazy J. Crazy, thank you very much for uh, for joining us. Appreciate that. All right. Uh, enjoy your new emotes, man. Swag upgrade to 1,444%. <clears throat> um, okay, I think we're good to take the job. Did I did I select it? It didn't seem to. All right, let's see. New subscriber shout out. Man, thanks for subbing, Jackson. Appreciated, yeah, buddy. Did I? Oh, I did click confirm, right? New subscriber shout out. Okay, I hope I did. Ryan, thanks for subbing. I click confirm, but then. Oh, I see. You got to do that first. Got it. First, you got to confirm. Then you got to do that. Do, do, do. Woo, crazy Jay, welcome aboard. All right, let's see. Yeah, I'm definitely a premium Swifter. Oh, hello. Hold on, just a second, boys. I'm good. Hold on a second. I like the fact that you can look so far behind that you actually launch yourself out of the driver's seat 
into the back. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, let's see. Am I going to play more Infra? I beat that game, man. Didn't you watch the whole playthrough? Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Wait a minute. Well, you finally caught a live stream, Jay? Well, hey, man, enjoy your emotes. Thanks for your support. And I hope I've been at least somewhat moderately entertaining. Mostly with the crashes and the crying. There we go. Some more FedEx Express now. That should be nice. And we'll get rolling here in just a second. Uh, what? Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, well, are we ready to do some trucking? Hold on a second. There we go, now we're ready to do some trucking. This one's for Papa Pom. We're actually hauling some uh, plastic for a 3D printer. He needs an emergency delivery. That's why I got a whole trailer full. Pom's got a school project. We got to get there right away. Boy's got to graduate with... They should actually invent a new grade level for how well that kid does in school. From what I understand. Could be all lies, but I'm pretty sure... It's funny, I, I do remember... It's funny, we got a father-son team moderating the, the channel all the time. And both uh, him and uh, Pom, the great thing is, is that both of them together moderate the streams. And Pom, when he first came on, I can remember, he was like... Uh, <laughs> we called him like Team Jarvis because the kid was genius. He w he wanted to come on and play Metal War Assault Squad, but he was too busy doing homework about bowling. He had to do homework about bowling. Now this was the middle of the summer. Let that sink in. Middle of the summer, teenage kid doing homework in the middle of the summer, and he was studying like bowling for some gym class. Now. I mean, I like Palm, but I mean, that's, I mean, that's, that's nerd territory right there. I mean, I, I respect Palm deeply, but, uh, that's, that's like, that's nerd. That's a nerd. <laughs> but that's okay. He evens it out with, like, his motorcycle license, so it, 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 like, nullifies it. It's, o it's okay. It's like an acid in a base. But there's nothing wrong with that, actually. I think the coolest photo, uh, I've seen on Papa Palm's Instagram, though, was him and, uh, Actually, were you guys playing Magic the Gathering, Papa Pom? I think I saw a picture of you and Pom playing. Ma like, the cards were all set up and stuff, and I was like, I didn't know Pom played Magic the Gathering. My respect boosted, but I didn't want to tell him, because if he gets confident, then, you know, he'll, he'll start getting wild. He's already out of control. Oh, you were playing Magic. Awesome. That is a good kid. We had some horrible games yesterday, Papa Pom. We were playing Men of War Assault Squad. Man, he was... Me and him and everyone else we were playing with, we were just like... We were upset. It was just, it was a tough day. Anyway, enough about me. How are you, chat? How's it going? You've been watching for two years? Thank you very much for your support, folks. The Circle 7 salute from me to you. Thank you, everyone, for your for your super chats, for being kind in chat, for liking, for commenting, for being here, for telling people about the stream, for being a part of our Steam group down below, for buying merch, for uh, following me on Twitter, for clicking the join button, everything. Everything you guys have done visiting me in person. Some people have done that. It's very, very kind. Very, very kind. All right, I'm going to turn the high beams on, which is illegal, but I want you guys to be able to see. It makes for a better show for you, so. Yeah, and Colt. Yeah, pe people like Colt putting up with me and, like, helping me out with mods and stuff, short notice or whatever, and just being a generally uh, chill individual. Thank you very much. So let's get a bunch of Circle 7 salutes in chat for everybody. From me to you, and from you to me, and to our moderators, and for our sponsors, and super chatters, and everybody. Show a little love. It's very nice of you all. You think a nuclear bomb's gonna drop nearby and flip my truck over? Well, if you guys think I'm a bad driver, you, know, you all missed out on the days of Stromby on Twitch. When we used to stream Euro Truck on Twitch, and I think maybe even ATS on Twitch too, because YouTube... Maybe, I, I think I was streaming on YouTube at the time. I just started with, yeah, I think I just started with ATS on, on YouTube because I was like, oh, how's this going to work out? But it was all good times. 
Do I have a PS4? No, and I kind of want to get one, but I feel like the moment I do, they'll announce a new PlayStation, and then I'll feel dumb. But there's some great PS4 games out there. Is anybody playing the new Spider-Man? I've been watching some people play that new Spider-Man, and man, that is awesome. That new Spider-Man game is really just incredible. Alright, it's a little unsafe to switch lanes now. This guy on the left is flying up. Look at that guy. Whoa! That guy was blowing past. A little dangerous there, man. There was cops. Yeah, if you, if you haven't, make sure you watch that Spider-Man game. It's incredible. new Spider-Man game is so cool. And I'm not really one for superhero movies or anything like that, but to see Spider-Man swinging around like that and then come in and just, like, punch a dude and then, like, web someone else or something, it's really cool. At least go watch a little gameplay video after the stream. It's good stuff. Hauling TVs. I think this is, like, home accessories or something like that. But in actuality, I'm saying it's, uh... In actuality, I'm saying it's 3D printing ink gel. I don't know. What do you call that stuff? 3D plastic? I don't know. I don't know what the technical term is. Actually, I'm starting to think like Papa Pom is like low-key Adam Savage right now. Alright, let's just lower down filament. Hold on a second. This ain't gonna end well unless we get the right gear. There we go. Filament, that's what you call it. Okay. Filament? That's what you call it? That's a strange word. It's cool though. 3D filament, okay. Uh hi Raptor, I wish I could watch this. I just saw the stream, but I have to go to bed. It's 8 12 p.m. in Indiana. It's 8 p.m. and you're going to bed? What? I don't, I've never had a bedtime of 8 p.m. Did you get in trouble or something? Is this like a punishment? Wait a minute. That's not what I want to do. slow here and then we'll pick up speed as we come down. He may be younger, but I think my bedtime was always nine. But now it's whenever I want. <laughs> it's a good and a bad, kids. You do have to pay taxes to the U.S. government or wherever your uh, local official government is, but you do get your own bedtime and you get to eat anything you want from the grocery store. Ah, uh, yes. I can remember my first days at the grocery store. Nothing but that purple ketchup and dino bites. No, I'm just kidding. I, I wouldn't eat like that. I try to keep my processed stuff to a minimum, but, you know. Uh-oh, some of you are starting to sound old. Back in my day, my bedtime was 10 p.m. That was two years ago when I was playing Minecraft. And now I'm, now I'm 16 and I have to get a job. I can't remember the last time I made a meme. My first meme was 2012. Oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. I took an image and that made it really blurry, but it actually made sense and was comical. Now kids just put a letter onto a panda's face and it's funny. I do reach out, yeah, but I also have to make sure I don't die. Otherwise, everyone will say I work for Swift. <laughs> That's chat's vengeance against me. They'll insult me by saying me that I work for Swift, which I told you guys, they won't hire me. I'm not good enough for Swift yet. I told you guys, I need more practice. Like, you're going to see me running up and doing that train mon training montage from Rocky. Like, I'm going to be boxing it out with a rack of ribs and then, you know, chugging it up the library steps. And then I'm going to have a bunch of, like, Soviets chasing me in a black car, and then they, like, peel out or something like that. Because I'm, uh, cause I'm running too fast. I'm too good at running, so they can't drive their, drive their car. What the hell was that scene? Yeah, I'm going to... i got to do a training montage for me working for Swift. I'm going to just hear the music now. Where am I going? We're heading up to Page in uh, Arizona right now, the north north of Arizona. KGB? Yeah, it was probably the KGB.
ba 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 Uh oh. There's a sign for deer. I wouldn't be surprised if they make it where deers fly out in front of you now. That wouldn't surprise me one bit. No, I don't play PUBG. Wow, you guys can't see a thing. When it gets dark in this game, man, does it get dark. Like, it is just, like, straight up pitch black. Alright, well, let's, uh, bring her back this way there, champ. Nope, that, that was the gear. Alright. Yeah, if you want to say you should play, when are you playing, have you played, uh, go ahead and click or tap that join button. A great way to uh, support the channel and uh, decide what we play next is uh, by getting some feedback from our actual members. So click or tap that join button and I might listen to some of your feedback because uh, plenty of people want me to play plenty of things. But there's only so much time. So click or tap that join button. Yeah, I know you guys can't see anything. That's why uh, this is what we call the summit plummet. This is when uh, when it gets this dark, nobody can see, and so you'll see the viewer count tick down because nobody can see anything. It's funny. I, la I secretly laugh about it every time because there's nothing. I can't I can't do anything about nighttime unless I go sleep, but that ain't going to happen. So you'll see it get less and less, and then as the sun comes up, you'll see it go, go up. $5,000 super chat? That, that ain't going to happen either. Nobody's going to do that. There we go. And again, I'm driving with my high beams on just so you guys can see. Well, now look at that. We can actually see again. And it's raining. Wonderful. All right, let's get those uh, wiper blades going. There we go. Oh, it looks like it's raining pretty hard. Let the rain fall down. Why is the uh, GPS suddenly, like, so bright? Like, somebody turned up the GPS brightness to, like, nuclear blast. Colorado, I'd love to drive up there. That'd be awesome. Ooh, there's thunderstorm. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, I see. It's just a... T oh, it's not an exit. It's the road actually goes this way. Okay. Got him. Wait, are we passing through? Oh, we're nowhere near our destination. I'm thinking like we're pulling into town. No way. We're just passing through. Okay. Got him. Yeah, the limit for Super Chats is 500. And I think it's like for, per day, too. So, like, if somebody drops a $500 Super Chat, that's it. Like, YouTube won't let you donate ever again for the day. I think that's the way it works. Do you have to buy the game to get into the open beta? Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't be able to play the game without buying it. Ooh, wow. Listen to that rain. Uh-oh. Listen, listen to that. Actually, wait a minute. Are these... Hold on a second. I'm ha Oh, you know what? I know I'm having so much trouble in this truck. Wait a minute. Hold on, I know why. Usually I get into accidents, but today is more than it's more than ever, and now I know why. Hold on. Braking intensity was turned down for that other truck. When I was driving the uh I think it was the Mac. I think I turned down the braking intensity for the Mac and it was too much. There we go. Alright. That's why. My my foot pedals weren't as responsive as they were because the intensity was turned down. There we go. Hopefully that's a little bit better. All 
All right, very good. All right, that should be a little better now. They should do a Mad Max mod for this? Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, I'd forgotten when I downloaded the Mac R. Keep in mind, if you, d if you download the Mac R down below, uh, you might need to turn your braking sensitivity down because that truck has very sensitive brakes. And you don't go very fast either, so when you click on the... Uh, or when you apply brakes, it comes to like an immediate stop. So make sure you turn that back up. Although it didn't seem to affect the other trucks too much, though, when I was driving with the... Uh well, then again, those were like vanilla trucks, though. The uh, Freightliner and the... Uh or no, the uh, Kenworth and the Peterbilt, too, for Smokey and the Bannon were okay. There should be a NASCAR mod? What, to like drive NASCAR trucks? Oh, let's turn the... Uh High beams on. There we go. Welcome back, everybody. Again, if you haven't clicked or tapped that subscribe button, make sure you do to know when we go live for more American Truck Simulator if you're not yet a subscriber. Welcome to all you new people. I hope you're having a good evening. Welcome. We're driving through a uh, very cool th lightning storm right now. Yeah, cops can pull you over in this game, but not really. Like, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll speed by you and give you a ticket, but that's about it. Oh, you drive FedEx trucks? Cool. Yeah, this is actually very challenging now. There's a uh, change in the roadway, and uh, visibility is low. It's kind of cool to see, though. I don't know if this is new effects. I don't think I've seen lightning before. That's why that guy was switching lanes, so I was wondering why it came to a stop like that. Uh, you can transport military equipment with mods. Oh. Alright. is a giant bug flying around in this place right now. Flew in front of me like two times. It's a huge bug in here. Might need to get an anti-aircraft gun to take it down. Oh, transport race cars. Now that would be cool. I'm sure they have that for a mod. I'm sure they have mods for that. Dude, that bug is freaking huge. You guys see this thing flying around? I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't. Holy crap. All right. Wow, tonight is like a... Tonight is a fun night. There we go. Alright. You can't see it? Oh, it's... It's a huge bug. Tonight's a fun night. Yeah, it's a Sunday night. I get to experiment with a new streaming time. And, uh... We get a new modded truck. I like it. I'm having fun. That's what it's all about. Yeah, if I thought you were actually gone. You said you were leaving, but you actually hung behind. Was your previous sentence for narcissism in order to gain attention or sympathy? Do you do your opinion in chat, or was it just you just trying to be a jerk? Maybe you should just calm down, relax, and chill out, dude. Relax. It's just a game about trucking. If you're aggravated about someone's simulated performance in a trucking game, perhaps YouTube isn't for you. It's just a game. Stop being a jerk in chat. Thank you. You have school in four hours and 30 minutes. You're gonna watch the whole stream this way? Oh, also got him. Thank you. All right, let's keep her in the lanes and then we'll get to our destination. I think we should have time for one more to do. And we'll see about that. 
<laughs> I know. That's a lot of damage on that one. That's a lot of damage. We got him. Damage. Damage. You expected more viewers? Well, I stream a little bit of everything, so if I was to do, if I only did like, let's say, ATS, then every time that I went live doing ATS, you would actually see more people, because it would be my main thing. Bradley, thanks for seven. Can you get blown out tires? No. You can't get out of the truck. No. Is this your guys' first time seeing this game? Oh, there's that bug again. Not spitting napalm. I'm just keeping chat cool for you guys, so that way it doesn't get taken over by uh, preteen meme lords. JW, thanks for seven. Yeah, we'll play farming sim when that comes out as well. We're looking forward to that one. It'll be November, so it's a few months. You've seen this game two or three times. It is a great game. It's a very uh, fun simulator, and I think there's a, there's actually a, oh, Jeffrey, thanks for subbing, appreciate that. There's a ton of, uh, I think, mods coming out very soon, too, for when Oregon comes out. You're going to see, more than likely, um, I think a, uh, there's a, like a production chain mod coming out that somebody's already working on. So right now they've already got, um, like, uh, a setup for the logs going to the lumber mill, I think. And then the, so you're going to go from the logging site to the lumber mill, and then from the lumber mill to, like, a, uh, like a furniture production place. And then after that, you're going to go to a, uh, after you go to the furniture production place, you're, you're basically going to be able to, like, ship it to consumer good stores, or you can go from the lumber mill to, uh, like, a uh, neighborhood where they're building homes. So from what I understand is some people are already working on mods, so that way you can bring ore to, like, a steel mill. And maybe this will be a thing that comes in the regular game, too. So this might be the perfect time for you guys to pick it up, everyone. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. So thank you very much, everyone, for checking out the stream, because it's going to be big when it releases. I'm very excited for Oregon. I wanted to go north. <laughs> Bugs have family and family and feelings too. Yeah, they sure do. Folks, if you haven't already, make sure you join our family as well by clicking that subscribe button. We've got uh, hundreds and hundreds of people subscribing on the daily. It is awesome, and probably going to go up into the thousands when Farming Sim comes around. We're going to have a lot of people joining us for that, so it's going to be a good, good old time. I think it's going to be an absolutely good time. You love the game? That's a good game. Wow, a lot of you guys are, like, seeing this game for the first time. That's awesome. How do I feel about the new Men of War DLC? I'm cool with that. That's fine. I'm doing good, Fire. Thanks for asking, man. Yeah, we have a lot of people clicking that join button, too. I'm really just, like, enthralled with the... Woo! Oh my goodness, yes. The first time in months. Finally. Yes, we do have a join button if you want to click that. Hold on, actually, let me see how far we are now. Dude, this is a multiplayer only exclusive, typically. Oh, right there! Look at that. Actually, is there... Oh, perfect. <laughs> right outside the Walmart. Too bad it's not the fire truck one, though. Christina, you take care of yourself. Alright, we're down. We got a man down. We got a man down, everybody. Uh, let's see here. We're going to go... Oh, I'm just going to quickly teleport up to there. Actually, wait. The good thing about this is if it if it goes to daytime... Wait a minute. Panel, oh, because I... Wait, what? They won't tow you with your cargo? Oh, wait. I canceled the cargo. Oh, that's fine. Oh, yes. It's daytime. I didn't really need the money anyway. All right. Let's switch back. Well, at least the windshield wipers are on. Swift training is completed. That's for sure. I was going way too fast on that one. But at least the brakes work now. We got that. We got a 10-4 on that one. 
Yes, smash that like button if you guys want to see more. Let me know. Oh, I always forget, too. I have to go F6 to cancel, and then there we go. Oh, whoa. Oh, there's two different buttons for that now. Wow, I wonder if they're going to actually change this for... Uh, they're gonna, I wonder if they're going to change this for uh, Euro Truck. All the symbols and everything like that. Cha the symbols changing like that are absolutely fantastic. I like the additions of that. You know, the good thing about this truck, too, is that we've only uh, only just begun with this one. I think I'm going to actually give it a paint job now that... Wait a minute. Is there a paint store here? Oh, yeah. We can repair and upgrade here. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, we just teleported. Well, essentially, you teleport by calling the wrecker. All right, good. Now we're in the north of Page. Where was that? Like right down here? Wait, no. We were close to that. Oh, we were right here. There we are. It's like a nine, like a 90 degree turn right there, but we made her through. All right, so now let's go on another job. How much time do we have left? Oh, we got time for another job. However, we've been doing f we've been doing uh, FedEx all night. Let me actually check something here. I wanna. Uh, oh, a maximum overdrive skin. Now that would be absolutely fantastic, dude. I would like that a lot. That would be really cool. All right, let's see here. All right, let's see. Do, 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 do. That's not even the correct spelling. I'm just checking something here. All right, there we go. All right, perfect. Uh, let's see. Enough Mc... Oh, is somebody talking McDonald's? Sorry, I had to tab out in order to fix the setting, but I think we're good now. Okay. Let me see. Yep, we're good. Can you get a shout-out? Sure, click or tap that subscribe button. You should be able to get one. That is awesome. That is like the first time I have actually rolled like this year, well, unless I was playing multiplayer. And all right, well, we'll need to slow her down. Luckily, braking intensity is back to where it is, so now I can get a little bit better with this truck. However... I do miss my Mac R for sure. Can you have the game? Dude, you should buy this game. Welcome. This is a good game. Michael, Annette, thank you very much for becoming a member yet again. Fantastic. People clicking and tapping that join button like crazy. Appreciate everyone for their support. Very, very nice. Okay, let's go on to uh, the next thing here. Let's see if we can find an external job. What is that thing? Plows, digger, forklifts. Uh, let's see, Walmart, Texaco... Oh, right, because we have to start from a FedEx dealership if we're here. I don't even know. How, how much money was that last job? It probably couldn't have been more than like 20. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, it would have only been like 20,000. Dry goods, like, you get nothing for those. It's all the big old crazy cargo. That Yeah, look at that. Oh, well, actually, distance counts too. But look at that one. Wow, the milling machine, 66,000. Jeez, that would be insanity. Absolute insanity. You've never played the full version of what, of this game? You've never... Oh, is there... Oh, there's a demo. Chad, is there a demo for this game? Does anyone know? New subscriber you guys know? Adam, thank you very much for subscribing. Appreciate that. Oh, halloween theme skins. Well, we're getting closer to that time, so we may as well. All right, I'm going to go to the freight market. We're going to do another FedEx haul here. Uh, actually, maybe I should change... Actually, we should get we should get a uh, swift paint job, shouldn't we, at this rate, huh? You guys keep saying it, but remember, I'm not good enough for swift yet. That's why we're, we're training for it. We're here having some good fun and bringing everyone together and anyone who gets te a, a little tender butthole over uh, someone's ability or inability to drive a truck, uh, enjoy the unemployment line because it's going to be a good one. Got him. All right. Uh, let's see. Walmart, FedEx. Uh, well, I guess we could take a Walmart trailer. Actually, let's take a Walmart trailer back to a FedEx place. Oh, wait. This is basically just the same route in reverse except with a Walmart trailer. Um, or, or, hold on. Or we could do this. We could go back to Kingman. This expires in three hours, but we could... No, I don't want to teleport and drive back there. I need, a, I need a trailer in Kingman. Well, let's just drive one back for Walmart, and we'll pretend it's FedEx for now. Actually, we are hauling to a FedEx, so I suppose technically we are hauling uh, for FedEx, even though it's from Walmart. Oh, whoa. Oh, it was external contracts. Swift is a bad company. I know that's why people are picking on me for it, but it's all good. Because we're here to entertain, not not about like 110% big O accuracy or something. 
God, if I play if I played this game all the time, it would be bad times. Night Wolf, thank you for subbing. Thank you for subbing. All right, let's go. Actually, we're. I think that cargo changed. Darn it. Now yeah, we should be able to do this one. Let's do use packaging to Kingman, which I think is back, and let's do the uh, this again. There is a demo. Oh wow, there is a lot of demo for this one. All right, very good. What's up, Braxton? You only have the demo of this game. Oh, make sure you also try the Euro Truck demo too, because a lot of players will ask me uh, if they should get ATS or if they should get Euro Truck, and my answer is you should get both. Because I've been playing with uh, both Euro Truck and ATS. I can't even believe um, there was a Euro Truck before Euro Truck Simulator 2. Oh, that's right. I put it back down in the first gear. There was a uh, there was a Euro Truck before there was Euro Truck Simulator 2, and I can't believe that. If you go back and look at the graphics, it's like wow. It's like looking at Farming Simulator uh, like 11 or 13 compared to like 15 or 17 or even the new one. You kind of you kind of realize you're like wow. There was a huge difference between these games absolute huge difference at least in terms of uh, at least in terms of how they uh, like features and everything like that how they look and how they feel it's crazy yeah I'm really hyped for the Oregon DLC finally we're back at daytime if uh, if I would have delivered that cargo I don't know if we would have been able to find a place to sleep maybe oh there is one nearby but I don't want to drive at night anymore I want to I want to drive in daytime yeah, a lot of our a lot of our fans play uh, ATS and Euro Truck too. A lot of the people I know, I know for Colt, for example, will will play both because he's just chill like that. I've also gotten some. Uh, yeah, all right, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I was getting some emails just a couple of moments ago when I when I wasn't paying attention with my truck. I got a really exciting email, and we're gonna be working with a. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can say anything, but we're gonna work with a company very soon on uh, development of a uh, of a new game. There's a new game coming out. They asked me if I wanted to be a part of it and it's going to be a it's going to be a good time. Oh, look at that. What is that? Rainbow stickers? Uh-oh. That could only mean one thing. Clowns are in town. Anonymous, thanks for seven. All right. So if we're going to the Walmart, are we pulling in here? This better not be for regular people. Oh yeah, because we got to go back this way behind the store now. Oh, this is cool. Delivery only. Wow, what the hell? I've never seen this type of building before. Is this new? I don't think I've seen this type of building before. We have to go into the back like this? This is awesome. Wait, where am I supposed to pick up the trailer? Oh wow, right there? I have never seen this building before. You can thank the bus driver. Yeah, you can't do that in uh you can't do that in bus sim. Walmart neighborhood market. Oh, wow, this person did a good job with uh, all the mods and everything for real company logos. That is a part of what we're playing with too, so uh keep that in mind. Oh, I thought I couldn't drive there. Does the game have DOT hours and logs? Um there might be mods for that or I mean, there are trucking companies that you can work with, so they might require that kind of thing. Yeah, Swift has 20,000 trucks on the... Yeah, that might explain why they get a bad rap, because with more trucks comes more accidents. So that might be the way. Alright, so we're picking up for Walmart, but we're going to FedEx, so technically, I guess we can do it. Maybe we got a contract with the Walmart. Cool. Well, thanks again, everybody, for uh, clicking and tapping that like button as well uh, today. I just I, I want to really tell everyone how thankful I am for their support and everything like that. I really greatly appreciate that. I'm here to have a good time and to stream good games for good people, and I'm happy that happens to be you people. So thank you. Hey, Raptor, are you online? No, I'm offline right now. <laughs> I'm here, aren't I? Uh-oh. What is this, a Japanese sand garden? What was... <gasps> is that a... They actually have a... Hold on. Is that a real, for real Prius right there? Like, for real? Is that is that a Prius? For real? 
Hold on. Let's get close. Do they have a real... I don't think I have a real car model. Not in this game. Is that a... No. Okay. Well, I was just going to say, I couldn't believe it if there were actual real car models in the game. Alright, let's uh, get out of here with our trailers. Just going to squeeze around the edge. Uh, uh, okay, we're good. Kill it with fire. <laughs> Kill it with fire. I would just be surprised if they actually had real car models in here, because I don't know if I have a DLC like that or a, a mod. Let me check check this truck. I don't, that's obviously a Chevy, but I don't know if I saw the Chevy logo. All right, anyway. Okay, one last trucking job we go on. Oh, he means online in the game. Oh, I see. I see. He means multiplayer. Gotcha. Uh, no. But thanks for asking. Oh, you like you like that guy who got a spanking earlier? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you're just like when you're rude, and then when you don't get your way, you're just like, I am going to have my ultimate revenge and be mean to everyone. Everyone should subscribe to. It's like, all right, dude. Nap time. Nap time, dude. Uh, did it just start? Well, we started about an hour ago. Today is uh. My, this is definitely my worst uh, trucking day, though. I will say I've done a horrible job today. You, you know, usually I'm pretty bad, but today it's like... Uh-oh, there goes that bug again. I wonder if that's a bee. Oh, it actually does look like... Oh, it is a bee. Oh. Well, I'll be damned. Don't you sting me. That's why I was so big. Volvo sounds great. Yeah, somebody was saying it's not its actual sound effects, so I think this is a part of the real sound effects mod, but it's still pretty cool. I don't know if it's the truck or if it's me. It's probably me. I didn't have this trouble with the Mac R or the Kenworth or the Peterbilt that we tried recently. But I love this Volvo, though. I think the front end hitbox might be a little big, though. But, also, like I said, this mod has been, like, dead for a year and a half, and people are keeping it alive by putting mods on top of it to fix it with, like, putting dealerships down and doing a few other things. So it's pretty cool. You're back. Welcome back. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Uh, Volvo don't have a cat in it. Oh, that's true. You can you can put a cat engine in it. And I think that may be what I did because it had the best for normal hauling. So you can put, like, a, there's a different variety of engines that you can put in there, and that happens to be one of them. Man, that bee is still flying around, man. What happened? Did I tip over a soda or something? Or what? How'd it get in here? You ever have that happen where, like, you're in a room and a bug gets in and you're like, how did a bug get into, like... And you're in a strange room of the house. Like, you're you're in the closet for the laundry room and you're like, how is there a bee in here? And you look around, there's no beehive, there's nothing. And you just realize, oh, maybe, you know, like, it got on my coat or something when I came inside. This reminds you of the movie Duel? Could be. You're, you guys are never late. You guys always say, hey, Raptor, sorry I'm late. Guys, you just show up when you can. Come when you can and leave when you got to. I'm just glad you guys dropped by. Raptor, you're a good chat listener. I'm probably a little... Well, in this game, I try to ch probably try to talk to chat a little bit more than I should because i got to keep, you know, keep her on the road. But, like, for example, right now, we're just trying to get her up to speed. Oh, go oh God. The bee has now landed on the screen. Oh, actually, it's a fly. That is a huge fly. All right, guys. I'll keep you guys updated on the fly situation. Like, there is a litter. That thing was huge. It just landed on my monitor. Tremendously huge. Oh, boy. Now I'm getting scared. Wow. It's like a helicopter flying through here. It's a horse fly? Uh, oh, yeah. You're probably... Oh, don't those things bite? Oh, dear God. I might end the stream early, guys. I need to, like... Get some, like, serious pesticides or something, right? Yeah, it's a thick fly for sure. Absolutely. You got to go to bed? All right, Carol. Thanks for dropping by. Appreciate that. Give the fly a name. Uh, AC-130. 
It's a huge fly. Hey, what's up, Team Kenny? How's my week? Dude, this weekend's been awesome. I've streamed at some different times, and I've gotten... I've pretty much come to the realization, though I'm still going to run some testing, on, like, three things. One, there's a fire truck, but that's not the real thing. Uh, all right, so three things I found out from, like, streaming over the last couple weeks, and then, of course, like, over the last couple of days of doing this experiment. One, I can pretty much stream whatever I want, and pretty much the same number of people will show up. Like Timothy there. Awesome, Tim. Thanks for subbing. Uh, but three things. One, I can stream pretty much whatever I want, and everyone will show up. It just takes a little bit of time for people to come in sometimes. Number two, YouTube throttles views. They don't want certain content to come on. I've seen some of the... I've done a little research and matched it up with a few other people's YouTube investigations where they do these series on online. And I found out that, like, if, if, you're, if your channel has certain content and then other content, they have, like, a secret rating system where they'll... Because I play World War II games, it's, it's scary. So sometimes they'll hide videos from you guys because they, they, you know, they do viewer suppression. Like, they, they do it for sure. People have researched it. It's there. Go look for it. Uh, number three, uh, I can pretty much stream it any time that I want, and everyone will show up. And then pretty much every stream, uh, there's somebody asking for something else. But if I do that thing, it doesn't ever seem to work out. So if everybody asks me to play, like if for real, if I downloaded, like for example, Hearts of Iron, which everyone keeps telling me I have to play, if I play that game and live stream it, people are going to hate that because I won't really know how to play that. So essentially what, you, what people are asking me to do is, let's say I was a professional golfer. And they're saying, hey, man, you got to try out professional boxing. And it's like, okay. But then they're mad at me when I get into the ring and I get knocked out in, like, the second round. You know what I mean? So, like, that's that's that kind of thing. Like, they like me for golf, so it's like, hey, man, if you like golf, you're going to love professional uh, boxing. And it's like, those are, those are two different things, man. <laughs> Hearts of Iron is cool, but I don't know if I'd ever be good at that kind of thing, you know? Okay. Well, I probably would be, but I don't know why I'm so hesitant to playing it. But anyway, long story short, ATS is a game I've been playing for a very long time. Or not, not just ATS, but Euro Truck as well, probably since 2013. And 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, and we'll do it again in 2019 and 2020. But uh, I've realized that the most important thing is just all the mods. They're awesome. So if you want to download any of the mods for today, make sure you check down below. And make sure you click that like button, too, to let me know you'd like to see more. Because you guys are great, and I'm happy to have your support. Seriously. Do I play GTA 5 online? I could give it an experiment, but I don't know what to say. I think I could try it live, but I don't... I don't know. Well, I'll guarantee the same number of people are going to show up. Because I've also noticed, too... And I know we talk about the channel a lot, but it is interesting. Um, since I play all sorts of different content, it seems like there's an audience that just wants to see trucking. There's an audience that just wants to see World War II. There's an audience that just wants to see War Thunder. And they don't, they don't watch everything that I do, only certain things that I do. So, for example, if I play ATS, they only want to see when I play ATS. So if I, go and, if I play GTA V, they might not be interested in that. You, you have my back if we're... Uh, oh, you, you got my back on the squad? Awesome, guys. Yeah, you know what? We do have a... I think we have a gaming group or something. Whoa. We have a group inside of... Uh, wait a minute. That was weird. Same gear again. Every time I go down into fourth low, it seems to hang up. I'll have to watch that. Anyway, yes. Um... If we do GTA 5, you're all welcome. You guys can come join us. Remember, whoever is a member gets top priority if there's, like, a, a limit or something. <coughs> Poke TV asks, what mods are you using? So I'm using a, a Volvo truck right now, which is, like, in the top. Actually, check down below in the description. And there's a Google document link down there. And if you click on that Google document link, uh, you will find uh, the link to each one of these mods. There's the Volvo truck and a couple of mods to a couple of different trailers and other things that you might be interested in. So check down below. You subscribed? Wonderful. Welcome, Alien. Thank you. Yeah, if you subscribe, your name should pop up here. 
One shot, you're back. Yeah, you guys always come back. I, th I think here's what happens. People come in and they're watching. And they're like, okay, he's, he's leaving with the cargo. I'm going to come back in 10 minutes and see where he's at. And then they come back and they're like, okay, he's 10 minutes away. I'm going to watch like two minutes and then I'm going to come back. And then they come back and then I've delivered the cargo. And sometimes I don't even know you guys have left. And you guys are like, oh, yeah, I was here the whole time. The whole time. It's like, no, you weren't. You were making... You were making Hot Pockets in the microwave. You know you were. Actually, you know what a real big cardinal sin is? I'm going to be running for president very soon, and I'm only going to be running on one one premise, and that is anybody who, uh, anybody who makes a pizza roll in the microwave oven will be... Uh, I'm just going to put them into a... Uh, I'm going to put them onto a boat. Actually, no, we're going to put them onto a flying bus, and we're just going to have them play real-life real Fortnite with each other on an island. Actually, some people would probably be interested in that. Oh, wow. First time we get to see a train. I don't think I've seen a train in ATS. Is this for real? Oh, you can hear its horn coming by. Just kidding. That's my horn. What do you recommend to get popular? You just got to be pretty like me. That's the only way you got. That's the only way to do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. Let me just make sure I don't goof this up. Yep. There we go. Really? In one low? Do I have a low, low gear? Oh, I do. Sweet. Oh, wait a minute. Look at look at, look at at the screen on the, on the right. I didn't notice this until just now. I'm glad we brought this screen up. <clears throat> There's truck damage, trailer damage, and goods damage now. But how does that work? Is there a way that you can damage the cargo over the trailer? How would that work? Oh, like if you go over a speed bump really fast, can the cargo, like, bounce? Like, the trailer probably wouldn't get damaged from that, but the goods could shift around. So is there a chance that goods could be broken? Oh, that would be cool. Can I play World War One games? Just watch the channel, man. I'll, I'll put some stuff up when I got time for it, for sure. Oh, yeah, be pretty. I'm just being funny. See, I really wish there was a mod just to make it daytime all the time. This is this is all I want to do is just drive on the highway on a beautiful or possibly rainy day and just chat with you guys. I don't want any jerks in chat who get freaked out if if uh, their their driving standards haven't been you know catered to. You have been driving 54 to 55. How dare you, sir? And it's like, all right, dude, just calm down. Take a nap. If the load is not properly secured, it can shift. But I don't think as the gamer, like as the player, I can't secure the load, though, can I? Like, I don't have any control over that, do I? When, when the cargo's loaded? I mean, in real life, yes. But there's three damage things here. The truck, the trailer, and the goods. So if the goods get damaged, how? Is it because the... Tra oh, wait, I know why. I know why. I know why. Before they used to base good damage and trailer damage off the same thing. But now since there's the possibility for you to own the trailer, you might need to get your trailer repaired too. So if for example you drive through an intersection and a car hits you and your trailer takes 50% damage, you're going to have to repair the trailer damage plus the good damage too. Or well, you'll, you, you won't get money for that, but you'll have to re uh, repair the trailer when before you didn't have to, you would just lose the money for it. So now there's like a double penalty. That's probably why they didn't want to do that before. Makes sense. I'm sure there's like an article on that. But I would imagine then that's what they're doing. Is they're making it so that way you have to repair the trailer, you lose money for the goods, and you have to repair your truck too if, if your truck is taken damage. Makes sense. That's actually a very cool thing. Look at the beautiful sky. It's a little blurry, I will say. But it is beautiful. I can see there's a little... Uh, on that cloud on the right side. It looks a little little spiky, that cloud. Wow, we're just we're just going now. Am I in the higher gear? Oh yeah. Wow. Never been able to open her up like this. Whew. There we go. Now we're at peace again. We're in our trucking zen moment now. This is awesome. 
So I think tomorrow we might stream some Escape from Tarkov, which is a game some of you might not know about. What do you mean slow down? The speed limit's 75 here. We're doing 60. We're allowed to go this fast. Yeah, the truck trucks do have jake brakes in this game. You have your parking brake, your uh, standard brake, jake brake, your horns. I don't know what so horn is better. I do like that one, but the, the train horn. There you go. You mean because I might crash? Yeah, you're right. But on the highway, there's not as many tight turns. That's why I went down that last time. That was good. That was funny. See, that's why I can't work for Swift yet. Yet. Someday. I, I can dream. You guys can't stop me. What do I use for controls? I'm using a steering wheel right now there, Lord Serbia. Give Total War a chance? Um, so the thing is, for games that there's a lot of learning to do, I don't have a lot of time to do a lot of learning. And so if I jump into a game like that, the problem is that um, if I get into a game like that, I'm not going to know what I'm doing, and then people will just immediately be very rude. Uh, YouTube kind of has like an auto-filter system for like rudeness now. A lot of comments get marked as automatic spam from YouTube. And you wouldn't believe the amount of people who get upset over like a game not being played to their standards. Like, for example, recently I've been playing Command & Conquer Generals, and somebody uh, has said that... Um, they played it a different way where they could beat it faster. You know, they could they could beat the mission in like three minutes as where I took like 20 minutes. Now, the difference is is that, you know, they did a strategy like a speed strategy where you can just drive into a base, blow something up, and the game is over. My strategy was to just play the mission as intended because nobody wants to watch a three-minute video. They want to they wanna see like the gameplay of the game. But they were very upset that I didn't know about the way. And, and it was like, it wasn't just about like, oh, you didn't know this way. If you do this, it'll take you only three minutes. This person was like, upset. This person was mad that their day has been inconvenienced that I didn't know the way that they knew or something. Could you imagine that? Like, at, at school or with your teachers or learning something new at work, that if the person who was going to train you how to do a new thing got mad at you for not knowing how to do that thing, that would be incredibly crazy. Let's say you're working on a ship. No, you're working at the docks. And uh, you have to, uh, you drive a forklift every day and you move the same shaped crates every single day. Let's say it's like a, it's a crate that's, you know, like 10 feet by 10 feet. And then uh, suddenly you're assigned to do a 10 foot by 20 foot crate. So now we're talking about a rectangle shape. And the boss says, oh, hey, go talk to Rick. Rick knows the, uh, Rick knows the procedures for moving those 10 by 20s. And, uh, you know, Rick puts you on the forklift and he says, all right, let's drive over to the CO blocks or something. And it's like, what's a CO blocks? And then he just gets upset. You, imagine, if, imagine if the world was internet comments. Oh, what a, what a hell hole. <laughs> it's starting to become that way, though. We'll name that, we'll name that guy like Rick G or something like that. You don't understand American ge geometry? Or ge 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 geometry? Do you mean... Wait. Do you mean... Oh, ge geometry? Wait a minute. Do you mean geography? Or do you mean geometry, like mathematics? Do you... I think you mean geography, don't you? You'll have to tell me. Oh, we still have our lights on. Wait, what? Wait, my lights are off. It looks like lights are on. Do you see that in the front of the cab? It looks really bright. Is that just the light coming off the GPS unit? Holy crap. Uh, the new Mac Anthem mod is out. Awesome. We can take a look at that next time. You know, all I like to do in this game, all I ever liked to do in, in ATS and Euro Truck was to drive the roads, make it a sightseeing simulator, drive with friends, see accidents happen, and then drive new trucks and see if we could go up like big scary roads. Avery, thanks for subscribing. I'm not really into like getting a, you know, I wouldn't want to get like a big shifter. I wouldn't want, I don't, I'm hesitant about getting track IR. I don't think I would ever, if, if I was, if I was playing a game with a flight simulator, I, I'm hesitant about even getting like a joystick set up, even though War Thunder uh, sent me a joystick a while ago as well. 
Sony and, and War Thunder teamed up and they were like, hey, you should play our game more. Here's a joystick. And I, I did. But it was really cool. Oh, you mean, you mean like uh, American measurements, like a foot is 12 inches. Oh, that stuff. Oh, I see. You know, I wish we used metric, but also the cool thing is, is I know, I do know both now. Well, not, not really like 100%, but oh, I knew I shifted down. There we go. I was right. I did it. Oh, math. I see. Well, that's not math either. You mean measurements. That's like imperial metric, that type of thing. All right, so we are hauling a, a double trailer for FedEx right now. It's a, wall, it's a Walmart trailer, but we're hauling it back to FedEx HQ. Maybe, maybe FedEx HQ ordered a bunch of napkins or something from that guy's crying from earlier. Or iodine. Oh, actually, we're, we're delivering the uh, iodine... Uh, what, what is that word? Iodine salt? I, ionized? Ionized salt. That's it. What is that anyway? Is that like just purified salt? How much does this game cost? It depends on where you're from. Just go to Steam and look at it. That's where I would bu recommend buying it from. That way you can get all the mods. What's up, Avery? Hi, chat. This live stream's a long one. This is about our usual time. And it's about just about as fun as it always is. Well, I don't, I don't mind that too much. Sometimes the tactic is, let's see if we can irritate this person, and then when they react in the way that we know they're going to react, you know. It's like picking on someone, and then like telling them to calm down when they freak out or something like that. You know, like if, you're, if your older brother grabbed your arm and was like, stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself, and then you tell them, stop! And then they're like, hey kid, you're freaking out, kid. And it's like, Hey, D-Bag, who was uh, punching his brother in the face, why don't you sit down? Go take a nap. Get in the unemployment line. Chill out. Work the fry later. Ooh, look at that. A truck hauling some hay bales. Oh, I love that. Those are the things I want to haul more often is hay bales, lumber, logs. But I really like lumber a little bit more. And then fuel is always cool, too. Box trailers are kind of boring, but... Iodized salt is just with iodine to prevent iodine def deficiency. What? Why would we put it in the salt then? That's weird to me. That's like when people, when uh, certain local governments opt to put like fluoride in the water and it's like, oh, it's for your teeth. And it's like, dude, people brush their, it's 2018, dude. People brush their teeth and stuff. Come on. I mean, that's like saying, oh, hey, we put a bunch of, uh, we put a bunch of uh, sugar in the money uh, just so that way you don't get a sugar deficiency or something. It's like, dude, we can take care of ourselves. Gov government. Okay, government. Okay. All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and park this trailer now back at the FedEx headquarters. Now, don't worry, guys. I'll edit out that part where I flipped over so I'll still look good, and I think you guys will still love me. Actually, no, that was, that was pretty funny. That was good times. Yeah, I'm not like looking to like make a living off of a fake trucking trucking company or something like that. You make thousands of fake dollars that you can't use in a trucking thing? All right, let's go ahead and complete this delivery. East bound and down, loaded up and trucking. Okay, apparently it affects 2B people. What? Two billion people worldwide? An iodine inefficiency? What? I've never heard of that. Well, you know what they say, though. You know, there's there's people who, like, make up, hey, man, if your son or daughter doesn't have vitamin 17B, your, your son or daughter could be at risk. And it's like, for what, dude? Wait, the IRS will t still take your fake money? Yeah, they probably will. Well, there's that beautiful truck. I have had some trouble driving this one today, but one, a couple of things I did learn is that I turned my braking intensity up a bit, and that did help in driving. That was a lot better. Also, it seemed like my shifter was getting stuck when I was going down into four low on a couple of uh, on-ramps. I seemed to have some trouble, but it seems, seems to have worked out a little bit. Halen, thanks very much for subscribing. Appreciate that. Um, but the, uh, the, the truck is absolutely beautiful and very, 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 very customizable. I think this mod hasn't been updated for a year and a half.
but there are some other mods you might need in order to get it to work. So uh, check around for a, I think there's a Volvo fix mod that's in the document. So if you're interested in driving this truck for American Truck Simulator, and it could also be, I think it also is out for Euro Truck Simulator too. So if you want to drive this truck in either game, you're totally welcome to do that via the links down there. And then go ahead and, you know, give the mod maker a nice compliment and say, hey, good job, Matt, because these trucks are really good. I think there needs to be a little detail to the back end, uh, but again, it's over a couple of years old now, probably, or he hasn't updated in forever. The guy hasn't been on Steam in like six months or more, so who knows if he'll ever update it. Maybe he just kind of like got out of gaming, but anyway. Chat, you guys are fantastic. I want to thank all you people for tuning in here tonight. Uh, yet again, you come on here. I tried to stream a little bit later, and uh, I'm not sure what the best time for streaming is yet, but it's... It, it's interesting. A lot of people said I should stream in the afternoon and the evening um, in their time, which means pretty much any time for me. Because if you think, for example, if, if you're in the United Kingdom, if I'm streaming in, the, in your evening, for me it's like the mid, like it's like noon where I, where I am. Uh, but if I stream in the late evening for me, the, a lot of Americans will tune in, that kind of thing. So it's 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 anybody's guess. All I'm trying to do is I just I hate it. I feel bad whenever you guys when people show up at the end and they're like, oh, I just got here. Darn it. Or uh, when they say like, oh, I, just, I, I can never make it to a live stream. I'm trying to accommodate. I want to I want to try to be more accommodating. So that way. Can you drive a swift truck? You know what, Avery? Here's the thing. If I drive a swift truck, what's going to happen is I'm actually going to drive it better than I've ever driven any truck before. I think this is how it's going to work. If I drive sh uh, swift, it's going to be I'm going to be perfect. Because that's how these work, right? If I drive any other brand of truck, it's going to go to crap. If I drive this truck, you know, I, it, I'm going to I'm going to ram stuff and flip. But if I drive Swift, it's going to be perfect. I have noticed though that the hitbox of this truck seems a little wide. Like it, there, it, as you notice when I bumped into a truck at, or a car at the beginning, it seemed like there was about a, like a almost a hat, like a six inches to a foot between me and the other car. But I don't think it'll be adjusted. But it's not too big of a deal. I don't really. I'm not really caring too much about the realism. I just like the look and the sound. James Howard, thanks for subscribing. That is fantastic. Eh photos. I wear sunglasses because of the bright future of this community that cannot be stopped, no matter how tender. Nothing can stop it. Uh, all right. Well, that is it for today's stream. Everybody on your way out, make sure you click or tap that subscribe button, and I'll give you a shout out. Make sure you go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well to keep in touch. I'm going to Japan in less than a month, so uh, I'm going to keep you guys entertained with videos even when I'm out. I've already got videos planned. Everything's going to continue without a problem. I just won't be able to stream video games, but I will be live. So please follow me on Instagram and say hi there to Papa Pom. Thank you for moderating chat and putting up with me, being irritating all the time, I'm sure. And the same to uh, Benny Boy. I'm sure he's he's busy, probably not doing any sort of... Nanny? Yes, nanny indeed. All right, well, shout out to all of you guys, Avery and uh, that guy and everyone. Thank you for tuning in here today. I hope you enjoyed the crashes and the uh, mental breakdowns and the uh, the one guy who had the tantrum over trucking. The, the, ta the tantrum trucker. Wow. Awesome. All right, you guys have yourselves a good night. That was, that was a highlight of this evening. I will uh, see you all very soon. We're going to play some uh, Planet Coaster. And we're going to play some American Truck Simulator next weekend. And throughout the week, just stay tuned. I'm going to try to test out random things at random times. So, so don't ask me what we're playing. Don't ask me when. It's going to be a surprise. We'll see. We'll see how it works. All right. You guys all take care of yourself. Crazy Dinosaur Man is getting out of here. I got to go do some stuff. And I got to go uh, email this uh, company here about actually Monday. Well, actually, it's Monday morning for them. So uh, I'll probably get to emailing them right away so they can get started. You all have yourselves a good afternoon, a good evening, and good night, and a good rest of your weekend. I appreciate all your support. You are all fantastic people. So thank you for putting up with me, and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Take care. Crazy Dino Man out. Bye. That was, uh, that was a typo.